I'm kind of afraid to go in there. You think we're gonna be able to get in? <laughs> we're probably gonna get attacked by someone named Deborah. I'm trying to take a picture with the with the Game Boy because twinsies. And I'm waiting for Hannah. She's taking her time, but. We are gonna go thrifting today, I guess. I don't know. There's definitely a really, really, really good chance that we go to the bins today. Uh, I don't know. We might go to some regular thrift too. I've recently been feeling the regular thrift a lot more than the bins. I don't know why. It's really not a good time to feel that way because here in Phoenix, it's a nice, cool 70 degrees right now, which makes it really comfortable in the bins. Whereas in the summer, when the summer rolls back around here, it'll be 110 degrees inside the bins and not a good time to go. So we need to get as much bins shopping in now as we can. But, uh, oh look, who decided to show up? I'm just talking to YouTube. Uh, oh, rocking my shoe again. Look though. You like the photo? Aw. We're twinsies. All right, so yeah, let's go to the uh, thrift stores. Okay, we're gonna eat before we go thrifting. Psych, but we're really hungry, so. When we first moved here, we ate at Raisin Cane's all the time. A super, super, super unhealthy amount, but we, uh, we've cut it down to once a week, and as soon as that day rolls around, where it's been a week, we pretty much have to come here. I would still eat it every day if I could, but uh, try not to die before I'm 40. Crazy Kids is the best. They have the best toast. It's amazing. Good, I feel a lot better. Let's go thrift shopping. Yay! stocking right now so maybe we find something in electronics. Can you believe that out of all the bandanas I have, I don't have a yellow one. I don't have an Iron Man one. Dope. Not gonna leave with much from the first stop. That copy of Game Form right there is awesome. That'll look great front facing on a shelf. Wanting to find some wireless PlayStation, PlayStation 2 controllers, so that Hannah and I could play Dynasty Warriors together. And uh, I think I'm gonna give these cheapies a try. They're six bucks a piece. They might be all right. All 
right, time for another Sabres. Now, let's see if we can go in there and find something other than Game Informer, but honestly, if I leave with more Game Informer, that'd be cool. Yeah, I just like to know how much this Game Boy has on it. I guess I didn't realize there was a DS. It's 20. 20? Yeah. Alright, can you tell me how much? Can I actually just see that one? I think that's yes. a DS, yeah. It's 25. Okay. Uh, and if you remember, you'll be getting them 25% off today. Okay. I'll probably do that too. Does that be 15? Yeah. Uh, Dallas. Dallas? Yes, thank okay. you. I'll be up for one when you're ready. Thank you. Did you see all those Pokemon games? Unfortunately, they were all priced right at eBay prices. Uh, but it is 25% off today, I guess, still because of the holidays. So that Game Boy is actually 15 instead of 20. So I'll probably buy that. Those Pokemon games, though, I don't know. I just, mm, they're, they're all expensive. And I have most of them. So pretty much nothing at all in the regular video game section, which sucks. All the all the video game juju today is up there with those Pokemon games, but at least I am gonna leave with another Game Boy Color. That's two in a row. Two video game hunting days in a row. I got a Game Boy Color, so I'm not mad about that. All right, so I'm digging through the toys here. Not a lot to look at, but I did spot what is probably actually gonna be fine today. Yes, even better than the Game Boy Color. Look at those glasses. Those are ready for a paint job. Uh, all right not a terrible haul listen guys if you're in phoenix which i know a few of you are you need some pokemon games this is where you need to go it's 25 bucks that means it's full of pokemon cards <laughs> Yellow tags are a dollar? wireless PS2 controllers I just had to buy. Well, here's why, because look, two of them here at the thrift store, but neither had the receivers. Every time, there's no such thing as a wireless controller with its receiver dongle at the thrift. Write that down. thrift shop of the day is at Desert Industries and then uh, we're gonna go find something else to do. Are they all, is it $10 for all of them or is it just, are they $10 a piece? You can tell me that real quick, I'll just um, tell you if I want them or not. Uh, they are marked as a set, these ones. Okay, so I'll take them. If you want to just put them in one. Why do you have those right there? Could I look at those tapes? Oh, you bought those just now? Yeah. <laughs> yep. 
to get into that or yeah. have, collect VHS? Yeah, I'd, I'd do too, but just cartoons. Oh, no really? movies or anything. So, these are all ones I don't have. See, you know, this one that you know, in the six months that we've been making these videos, I've very rarely had any real confrontations with people. And what just happened wasn't really a confrontation, but I definitely scooped these out from underneath two different guys that wanted them. And that doesn't happen a lot. Most of the time when I go to the thrift store and there's stuff I want, I just, I get it and that's it. But there was one guy that while I was asking the shopkeep, hey, are these $10 each or all for 10 bucks? He said, they're all for 10 bucks. I said, I'll take them. And another guy that was at the box that was waiting to look, he's like, man, I would have already got those if I'd known they weren't $10 a piece because he thought they were $10 a piece. And then I went and paid for them, brought my receipt back. And another guy was like asking the shopkeeper, can I look at those VHS? And he was like, no, I just sold them to this guy. So that guy was actually kind of mad, uh, but uh, I really, really wanted these. So I got them. Uh, that was actually first. I mean, I would have expected more of that to happen in six months, really. But uh, there's so many thrift stores here. We just don't run into anybody. So VHS tapes. So we are at the mall now, and I guess we have a death wish, because look at this. It's going to be a little bit hard to see because of how fisheye this lens is, but the mall is all the way up there, and we are parked at the very end of the parking lot. We drove around for like 30 minutes looking for a parking spot because this place is on fire. It's you, wild. You think it's like returns? It's the day after Christmas, and I guess everybody's coming to the mall to return stuff. I don't know. But uh, now we got to walk a mile to get to the mall. First world problems, I guess. <sighs> I'm kind of afraid to go in there. You think we're going to be able to get in? We're probably going to get attacked by someone named Deborah. Seriously, look at this. We're parked all the way back by the stores that are closed down. It's rip. I love that the door says Sears is closed, like if you couldn't tell. I'm afraid to go in here. I really am. here and uh, I haven't died there's somebody talking to the cops outside though that was weird yeah somebody's in trouble how did everybody in Phoenix show up to the same mall only describe the smell of this place as uh, what it might smell like if you went into a room full of candles and they were all different scents and you lit them all at once. It's wild. I don't know what to do with my nose right now. suffer from any social anxieties but I would really be lying to you if I didn't tell you that this many people didn't make me a little bit nervous. I will say though this many people being here definitely allows me to get away with a lot more with this camera than I would be otherwise. Not as many eyeballs looking at me because there's a lot more to look at right now. Words cannot express how much I want this Minecraft reindeer. I mean, what? All right, we made it out of the mall alive, but uh, tell me why it was a thousand degrees in there. I know, I'm sweating. It was so hot in there. All right, guys, we are back in the game room and that was a long one. We just kept going and going and going and finding more and more stuff and it was awesome. Uh, let's start with yours, Hannah, because you didn't get a lot today. Nope, just got this one pair of jeans. These are dead stock lawman jeans they are crisp <laughs> yeah they're brand new yeah how they, old are these um i wanted to say like 90s ish a pair of 1990s cowboy jeans with a tag still on them yep they're 44 dollars. they're so stiff they are so stiff all right well it's better than nothing i guess i felt today like i was gonna kind of find nothing because we had three or four days in a row of like not finding a lot finding some cool stuff but just 
far and few in between. And then we started the first tour today, and there was pretty much nothing. And I left with these magazines, Game Informer. And uh, I've been looking for good ones to put on a display front facing. And these are prime candidates, both of them. Especially the Zelda one, but uh, that Batman's a good one. So that's two I don't have in my collection. Very happy to have them both. And then I have two bandanas. An Iron Man one, which is awesome. And a yellow one. Can you believe that I own over 100 bandanas and not a single yellow one? I don't know how that happened. Uh, and then there's just a lot of other nonsense in here. A pair of glasses I'll be painting soon. Because uh, I already have a pair of green. Funny enough. What? What else is in there? Fake Tamagotchi. There's a little baby Tamagotchi in there. <laughs> Actually, I think it works. That's mm -hmm. wild. Put it on your keychain. Dope. It's funny that you noticed that because I was going to uh, actually go just toss that back in the donate bin so that I could just take these with me. But, uh, very nice. All right. Uh, what else did I get? Ba boom! Let's go! And then what else do we get? Uh, I got one video game. The Smurf dance party. Uh, it's kind of funny in days like today. I only end up with one video game. Uh, but the rest of this stuff makes up for it. So let's keep moving. Uh, what do I, I, the, the last three things are pretty cool. I guess we'll show you these next. I actually got these because uh, we've been wanting to play some PlayStation 2 games. And it's just way more comfortable to play them in the bedroom sometimes than it is to play them in the game room. And in the bedroom, it's kind of a mess to stretch cables all the way across the room. So I bought two wireless controllers for us. Uh, they don't feel great, but they don't feel terrible either. So can't wait to try these bad boys out. And then it's hard. I like to save the best for last for obvious reasons. And it's hard to decide if this is the best or this little pile over here that you've been eyeballing is the best. But I think I think to be, I think they're tied. So I'm going to show you this. And this is awesome because this is the second day in a row I've come home with a Game Boy. A Game Boy Color. And this one's in perfect condition. It's ready to go. I want one of each color. One of all of them. And uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there pretty fast. I've got a lot of colors of Game Boy. I mean, the one that I found yesterday, go back and watch yesterday's episode, was definitely more uh, valuable or desirable than this one. But happy to have this nonetheless. You like it? I do. All right. If that were everything, today would have been a great day. Today would have been a splendid day if that were everything, but it wasn't. Look at these. Hannah, do these excite you at all? You... I mean, they're cool, they're pretty. They are pretty, and uh, I, I did not want to collect VHS, first of all. And I only got into it because Dragon Ball Z VHS look great on a shelf, and I do want to watch them, especially on VHS, on a CRT. It's very nostalgia inducing. So I, I did want to do that, but as I did, I found more and more old cartoons that were just great to have on VHS. And when I saw this stack today, there was no way I was not gonna buy it. And it's a good thing that I tried to buy it as quick as I did, because as I said earlier in the video, there were a couple people that were after these as well. All right, so let's run through them and talk about each one just a little bit in depth, because whew, I can't really believe it. So, uh, the Adventures of Batman and Robin, and the Riddler, very nice. Uh, I could not believe that this was in there. Uh, there were two of them, so let's go ahead and do them together. Uh, just to have any single episode from this show on VHS is great, but I got two today. Poison Ivy. It's kind of cool how, from the series, they made these one-offs, you know? Um, I don't know how they did that if they did that with all of them or if there are already that are just like season one episode one two i'm not really sure but uh at any rate i'm happy to have a couple of them this is just as awesome to spider-man vhs a firestar is born spider-man and his amazing friends x-men joins forces of spider-man <laughs> bro that's awesome spider-man and his amazing friends See how the spider friends meet, joining forces against their fearsome enemy, the beetle. That's awesome. I'm very excited about these. And then there was a Star Trek VHS, which I'm not as excited about. But if I were going to watch this, it would be cool to watch it on VHS. Um, Hannah, you probably don't know much about this, do you? I do not. It's actually pretty interesting because the original run of Star Trek only had a couple seasons. It really didn't get that far, and it really didn't gain the popularity that it has now until a bit later. 
But the original cast did continue. Most of the original cast did continue for a while after voicing a cartoon. So uh, a lot of people will kind of consider this like canon and a continuation of the original series. Hmm. And I didn't really watch any Star Trek at all growing up. I watched a little bit, a little bit of the Picard years. Uh, but that was it. And so now in my adulthood, uh, Star Trek is something I'll turn on in the game room while I work on stuff. And I've been catching up. And I did just finish the original season. So maybe I should squeeze this in. I'd be very happy to watch it if I could find it all on VHS. And then the last one, and certainly not least, X-Men. And it's it's part of some box set, I think, because there's a one on it. Um, it doesn't say anything else. I was looking, I was hoping to read that to understand what was on it. I don't have any idea. Night of the Sentinels. So it's probably just one, it's probably like three episodes. You know, that's usually what they do with these VHSs with cartoons. They put two or three episodes on it. I hope to one day find the rest of this because... X-Men are one of my favorite things, but at any rate, uh, if you've been watching the last few episodes, you'll know that I have an X-Men shelf. So I'll just put that front facing on the X-Men shelf for sure. It's a very pretty case. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it looks just like the cover of a comic book because, you know, it's got the front okay. square. That's what I thought as soon as I saw it. Like, I, I promise you, there's a cover out there that looks just like this. It's in very good condition, too. All of them were in really good condition. Could you believe this? Can you believe we got this stuff all in one day? That is wild. Look at that. Just look. I, I'm, I love living here in Phoenix, and this is why. And I'm not going to leave quite literally because of the thrift stores. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to sound to some of you, but we moved here for a job, and we're staying for the thrift stores. How Sounds do you, fair. Do you, do, you, do you feel the same? Yeah. You like the bins quite a bit more than I, I do. I do, yes. I mean, I like the bins. I'm not hating on it. I just... I don't like going, but I like what I find. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're on the same page then. Yeah. But uh, this says 20 bucks on it, but I guess because of the holidays, everything was 25% off, if you're a member, which of course we're a member of Savers. And uh, so we got this on 15. They even wrote my name on it for me, in case I forget who I am. Uh, but I'm going to have to build some sort of display or make a video about making a display for my Game Boys uh, real soon. Uh, I've said this before on the channel, but probably last time I said it, I had one or two Game Boys, and it's good to where I've got like 10. So it's definitely time to get a shelf for these. What was your favorite thing that we got today? Tamagotchi. No joke. I'm stoked. It is awesome. I want to get some batteries for it. Let's yeah, play it. <laughs> for sure. It's crazy how little it is. All right. Uh, my favorite thing, it's a tie between the Game Boy and the VHS. Probably if I had to pick. VHS, because that's that's some good stuff right there. Some stuff I'm very happy to have. Uh, yeah, I want to say especially Spider-Man, but then I'm like, well, especially the Batman. And then I'm like, well, especially that Marvel, that uh, X-Men VHS. But thanks for watching, guys. You do comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was, or maybe least favorite. I mean, this doesn't really hold a candle to any of the rest, rest of it, but uh, I'm glad to have it. And uh, before you go, guys, TintoStore.com. Definitely run over to there and check out our merch. Uh, just put your eyeballs on it. That's all you need to do. And then also before you go, run over to our Discord and uh, let us know how thrifting is going for you. You can let us know in the comments below. Tell us how thrifting is in your area. And then if you want to talk in depth, we spend a lot of time over on the Discord just chit-chatting. So come on over there. Talk to us a little bit. And uh, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, pretty please. We need to get to 1,000 subs ASAP. If you subscribe now, everyone that's watching, there's usually a roughly a couple hundred people a day watching our videos that aren't subscribed. So if all of you subscribed, we'd hit 1,000 now. We can start this new year with 1,000 subs. I'd appreciate it. Now, if you are subbed, please hit that notification bell so that when we post videos in the future where we find Game Boys and VHS tapes, you'll get a notification as soon as we post that video and you can come back there and hang out with us then. Until then, guys, peace out.